Hello everyone. Now that we have seen the prerequest required for Tag UI, let's go jump into installing and configuring Tag UI. To install Tag UI, you need to go to Tag UI website and download the software. Let's see how to download the Tag UI. To download Tag UI, open your favorite browser. In this case, I'm using Microsoft Edge. You can use any browser of your operating system, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, etc. Click on open Microsoft Edge. In the Microsoft Edge, in the address bar, enter tag UI dot read the docs dot IO. Should bring you a landing page. There are a couple of options to download. Option one, if you really know the steps to configure, install, you can select download tag UI version 6.0. 4.6, which is the latest version, stable version for download. Or if you are, if you don't know the installation and configuration steps and need more help, you can go to content section and click installation. So it expands to two options, Windows and Mac OS or Linux. Based on your operating system, you can choose the desired steps in the appropriate section. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I'll be showing all the installations and configuration steps for Windows. Between Mac and Windows, installation steps are pretty much similar, not same. The path and uh, certain configurational folder permissions, the way you give it into Macs and Mac and Linux are different than Windows. Otherwise, all the steps are pretty much same. So installation comes up with two options. We will be seeing both the options. So first, let's see the from the scratch option, meaning I don't have a Tag UI installed in my computer. I don't have a JDK in my computer. I don't have Chrome in my computer. So we'll be installing all these three components and uh, configure Tag UI and test and run and see if it works. If there are any issues, we'll troubleshoot it. So we'll go for a scratch options. Once we finish the scratch option, we'll go for the second option, which is Tag UI Windows installer. Let's let's jump into it. To download uh, Tag UI, you have a step one, which is download Tag UI version 6.46 for Windows, which is a stable version for download. Click on that. So when you click on Tag UI underscore Windows dot zip file gets downloaded in your computer. So based on your computer speed and download speed, internet speed, it will take some time for download. So go to the location or you can open the file directly. So in my case, I will open the location and uh, I'll go to that location. So this finishes the download step, step number one. So we finished step number one, which is tag UI underscore windows download or downloading of a tag UI. We'll follow the second step. So the second step is unzip the content to C drive. So to unzip, the content to C drive, right click and click extract and you can select all and remove the steps and keep C drive C colon enabled. So click extract and you should see extraction happening based on your computer speed. Extraction will take few minutes to complete. almost complete so once it's complete you should see tag ui is installed in this location now that we have uh, extracted step two completed let's go step three install open jdk for windows tag ui requires jvm and jdk if you already have jdk or installed you can skip step three and uh, go to step four. In my case, I don't have uh, JDK or JVM installed in my computer. So I'll be following the step. So in, click on install. So tag UI uses Amazon Corito as a JDK, open JDK. So as we did in a previous step, we'll go to the download location and then we'll try to install. Double click Amazon Corito JDK installer file or installer package. It will launch a wizard. 
click next it will check for basic required configuration click next and install user account control will ask for confirmation whether you need to allow this application if it is advisable to check for the details and uh, confirm so say confirm yes and uh, it should be installing and it should show successfully quality is successfully installed say finish now that we have finished step three let's go to step four in my case i don't have a chrome browser in installed so click on chrome and uh, google chrome and click download chrome and go to as previously go to the setup file and perform double click and access control will again ask for confirmation say yes wait for the installation to complete it takes few minutes to complete the installation now chrome's installation is complete now we have finished step four let's go and step five so step five is add tag ui src to start of path so path variable is located into environment variables and environment variable option is located into system properties so you can go to environment variable system properties by going to uh, start click on start click on settings then click on system and once you click on system go to about and about you have advanced system settings should open system property dialog box the system property dialog box click on advanced tab in the advanced tab you have environment variables click on environment variables so you have two options user variables and system variables so you should add this one into path of system variable not on user variable double click on it you should find edit environment variable wind variable um, dialog box enter new in the new go to your c drive location wherever the tag ui is so tag ui slash src copy this path and go to your environment properties and say new and then paste it and click ok so this should be added into the path and just click ok click ok to confirm so now that you have installed um, updated the path let's open command prompt and paste the following command so open command prompt open command prompt in the search you say cmd you should find a command prompt app in the command prompt app to test it if if if, if you have uh, properly installed your tag ui say type tag ui and you should find an uh, a supporting help documentation and the version of tag ui if you don't file if you find an error saying command not found it means that path is not properly set up so once we have a command line open and let's copy paste this command copy and uh, let's go to this prompt and say paste so we have this and say paste enter oh no so we have an error error is php.exe system error the code execution cannot proceed because msvcr110.dll was not found reinstalling the program may fix this problem tag ui internally uses php to for compilation and execution so the php.exe needs a, a dependent dll file which is technically microsoft visual c++ redistributable file so there are two options to fix it you can go and search for ms vcr 10.dll redistributable and it will take you to microsoft site you can download it directly from a microsoft site 
VC++ redistributable or Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable 2012 or click OK or you can go having problem click here. So tag UI documentation provides the missing DLL information. Click on this link which is Visual C++ redistributable. Click on the link and following redistributable will get downloaded. Let's go to the location of the distributable redistributable and double click on the redistributable so you should see the redistributable bin libraries are getting installed click on installation uh, user access control it will ask say yes and we are back to business say close and once done let's try again the process of running this so copy and paste so previously we got error and now we'll see and execute it so let me close our chrome let me close all other folders so that we know what's happening okay so let's run this so if you see the tag UI has launched Google Chrome and uh, it is trying to redirect to google.com and uh, entered latest movie in the search and uh, it tried to take a screenshot of a page which is getting loaded and uh, finished so if you see it successfully executed and finished the process or a task and it took like 27 seconds or 23 seconds to finish the entire task this depends upon the based on a computer speed and a processor so this finishes our installation steps for tag ui which is from scratch when you don't have any anything in your computer installed from scratch